Good morning. Here is a review of our reading story. I'm going to go ahead and read it out loud, and then we'll go over the questions together. You may not be able to see the reading itself. That's okay. Uh, so our story is covering sequence, which is the order that you put things into. So the story has certain sequence words or keywords that help us put the events in order from first to last. It is called The Coolest Club Around. Every Sunday from November through April, a group of men and women run shouting into the freezing waters of the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of New York City. Are they crazy? Maybe. Do they have a great time? Definitely. The Coney Island Polar Bear Club was founded in 1903 by Werner McFadden. He believed that a daily dip in cold water had big health benefits. He proclaimed this theory while in the freezing waters as onlookers gawked. Today, men and women still flock to the Polar Bear Club's weekly outings as a way to chill out. Water temperatures vary from about 60 degrees Fahrenheit down to about 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Add to that the wind chill factor and you have one frosty swim. Swimming with the Coney Island Polar Bear Club takes some preparation. First, you should check with your doctor before swimming in cold water to make sure you're in good physical health. Next, you'll need a bathing suit and a warm towel. Most members also wear special boots that protect their feet from rocks and other sharp objects on the beach. The boots also help keep their feet warm in the freezing water. Once you're ready to go, it's just a matter of gathering the courage to make that big leap. Plenty of people end up at the water's edge and turn away at the last second. If you're sure you want the polar bear experience, you might want to bring a friend who won't let you leave until you've taken the plunge. So let's go through our questions, starting with number one. Number one says, according to the passage, what should new polar bear members do before entering the water? And I need to find my pen really quick, so give me just a second. Okay, so according to the passage, what should new Polar Bear Club members do before entering the water? A, warm up with exercises. B, make a friend go in first. C, turn away at the last second. Or D, check with their doctor. If we go back into the text, we will see that it says here that you should check with your doctor. First, you should check with your doctor before swimming in cold water to make sure you're in good physical health. The answer, number one, is D. It's pulled directly from the text. Number two, what is the last step in preparing to swim with the polar bear club? We see last, the previous question was before. These are sequence words that will help us see where to look in our story to try to find the answer. Last step in preparing. Once you're ready to go, it's a matter of gathering the courage to make that big leap. So let's see if it has anything to do with courage. Consult the weather, gather courage, bring a bathing suit, wear protective boots. Here, B is the answer to gather courage. I was able to even make the prediction that the question might say something about courage before I even read the answers out loud. Number three, again, we have a sequence word after. So what happened after McFadden founded the Coney Island Polar Bear Club? Other people joined. Everyone believed swimming in cold water was helpful. He began sp selling special swim boots, or he quit the club in April of 1904. We want to look at what happened just after he founded the club. So I'm going to go and look for where it talks about McFadden. He founded in 1903. He believed that a daily dip in water could, uh, had big health benefits. He proclaimed this theory while well in the freezing waters as onlookers gawked. Today, men and women still flock the Polar Bear Club. So, other people joined would be what happened after McFadden founded the club. It's an event that happened, and the club would not have continued to be a success had other people not joined. It says today, men and women still flock the Polar Bear Club, which means people are still going to that club. It doesn't say that everyone believed swimming in cold water was helpful. It says that he believed that. He didn't begin selling special shoes, and he didn't quit the club in 1904. All right, number four. When should Polar Bear Club members put on special protective boots? A, after they leave the water. B, while walking on rocks near the beach. 
C, before they step onto the beach, or D, while swimming in the cold water. Each of these sentences has some kind of sequence word that tells you when. If we go back into the story, it says that most members also wear special boots that protect their feet from rocks and other sharp objects on the beach. The boots also help keep their feet from when they're freezing in the water. We're going to have to use a little bit of inference here. So A, after they leave the water, well that wouldn't be helpful because it wouldn't protect against the cold of the water. B, well, while walking on rocks near the beach, well, why would that be helpful? They've already stepped into the rocks, and then they put the shoes on afterwards? That seems a little silly. Uh, C, before they step onto the beach, that seems to make sense because you'd want to put on before you step on the rocks, before you go in the water, or D, while swimming in the cold water. That would be very hard, and again, kind of defeats the purpose. So C is your correct answer. Looking at our strategy practice, it asks us to underline the words and phrases that help you understand what the people in the club do and why they do it. Well, I've already underlined a bunch of stuff, so I'll go ahead and circle it, but there's lots of different things you could have put down. Um, they have a great time. That's an opinion, but it's possible they have a really good time. Um, health benefits is a possibility. Um, we go through here a little bit more. Uh, it's a way to chill out, again, to relax. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you could have put down here. Um, and there's some others throughout the passage as well. You only really needed to underline or circle one or two things. So pick what you think is best and go for it. Uh, that is our reading morning work for the day, and I hope you did a good job.